I'm Anil Kumar, and in this series, I'll take three, four examples based on equation of line, and we will see how to find its characteristics from the given equation. The question here is, solve each equation for y in terms of x. State the x-intercept, y-intercept, and the slope of the graph of each. Now, we are given two equations here. They are 3x plus y equals to 5 and 5y minus 4x equals to minus 12. When we say solve each equation for y in terms of x, we want to write our equation in the form y equals to mx plus b, where m is the slope, b is y-intercept, right? So here we know we get slope and we get y-intercept. So in such an equation, m is going to be the slope and b is going to be the y-intercept. So when we solve y in terms of x, that's what we'll get. But we need to state x-intercept also. Look at it. We need to get x-intercept also. <coughs> So what we are going to do here is, we will first find x-intercept, then solve and write down slope and y-intercept. So that is going to be the concept. So let's begin with x-intercept. What is x-intercept? It is a point where the line crosses x-axis. At that point, y is equal to 0. This is very important. So we'll substitute y0 in our equation, solve for x. In the first equation, 3x plus y equals to 0, we'll substitute y equals to 0. So we get 3x plus 0 equals to 5. That means 3x equals to 5 and x is equals to 5 divided by 3. So this gives you the x-intercept, right? So let me write down here x-intercept, which is x equals to 5 over 3. Let's do the same for the second equation also. We'll substitute 0 for y. 3 times 0 minus 4x equals to minus 12. That is 0, so we get minus 4x equals to minus 12. x is equals to minus 12 divided by minus 4 and this is plus 3. Okay? So we have got x-intercept for the second equation also. Now we will rearrange. Now we will rearrange to get y-intercept and slope. We have 3x plus y equals to y. Taking minus 3x both sides will give us y equals to minus 3x plus y. Do you see that? So in one step you could do this one. Now from here you can read y-intercept and slope, right? So now from here you can say what is the y-intercept? So we have y-intercept is 5 and slope is minus 3. Do you see that minus 3 is the slope? Let's do the same for the second equation. We have 3y equals to 4x minus 12. We can divide each term by 3. So y equals to 4 over 3x minus 12 divided by 3 is 4, right? So that gives us both the values. So what we get here is 4 as a y-intercept minus 4. Let me write down y-intercept equals to minus 4, right, negative 4, and slope equals to 4 over 3, right? So that is how we can find x-intercept, y-intercept, and slope of the graph from the given equation. I hope that helps. On a graph paper, you can actually graph these lines and confirm the result. Thank you, and all the best.